Hello all. So I just saw the very, very last episode of Hannibal. Um, it was definitely quite the experience. Um, so here's my comments on the very last episode and my comments on Hannibal in general. Um, so Hannibal is, of course, a TV version of the Silence of the Lambs films with Hannibal Lecter. Um, in kind of a somewhat prequel of how he got arrested um, and how it led into those films. But, of course, it diverges and does its own thing eventually. And, and by the end, it couldn't possibly relate to exactly what happened in the films. Um, so big spoilers for the ending of Hannibal. But the show ends with Will Graham and Hannibal falling off a cliff together and dying and then there's one final shot of of Bedelia um, the psychiatrist reoccurring character in the show literally eating herself and it just ends um, it's of course very hard to understand the ending it's perfect purposely made unclear what it means by this character eating herself and what that's supposed to... What kind of statement that's supposed to make. My personal theory is this. And I feel this is what the show is trying to say. She wasn't actually eating herself. Um, she had just been hurt so much by Hannibal. And he had become such a part of her. That she imagined he would be attacking her by now. And he would probably be eating her by now. So we were seeing the world from her perspective. About how she would imagine that... He had just cooked her leg. Um, and she would be forever haunted by his actions. And would forever be a part of her. So it's kind of a statement that, yes, Hannibal is technically dead. But he will always live on because of the horrible acts he has done. Which is is kind of a true statement with, with real killers in the real world. Like, you can arrest them, you can stop them. But it's always going to hurt the people that... They actually went after there's nothing really you can do about it um, which is a really sad note to end everything on um, very honest and I definitely respect it for being so honest uh, of course my interpretation could be completely wrong but I hope it isn't because I, I think that's a really brave statement to make um, as for the show as a whole Hannibal was definitely one of the greatest horror shows I've ever seen um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, it really pushed the boundaries of violence and gore in TV. And I know that might sound silly um, as, a, as a true awesome thing. But before Hamble came out, TV shows often would have a lot of gore in them. But they'd skip over the death scenes. So they'd have all these... Heroes was the worst for it. It would show all these dead bodies with cut off heads but never show it go down. And it felt more like the show was just heavily edited more than, you know the writers were just doing what's right for the story this show did whatever it wanted and and to be honest because of it we're going to get shows that we could have gone otherwise ash versus the evil did is coming out this halloween and it looks really brutal and i sincerely believe it couldn't be the show it's going to be if it wasn't for hannibal um another amazing thing about hannibal was was will graham himself because it was stated a few times that he was autistic. Um, and the show showed this in a positive light. It didn't make fun of him. It didn't make him above a joke. It seemed open and honest and actually displayed it in a somewhat positive but realistic way. Um, and that was really great. Um, like, usually a character like that would be a side character or, or a side note. But this was the main guy and the whole show revolved around him. Um, and you know, every group of people deserve proper representation. So the show, the fact that the show was willing to do that was really good. Um, and just all the risks it took and how well each and every episode was directed, how well each and every episode was filmed. There was a lot of great camera techniques. There was a lot of great acting. Everything was just done so well. I did think that the final season was not as good as the last two because the final season for the last chunk of it 
took too much from Red Dragon and wasn't really enough of its own thing. But the ending was still phenomenal in my book, and it was the perfect ending for the show. Um, I wish a bit more of the last chunk of it was a bit more original and taking instead of taking so much from Red Dragon, but it was still really good. Um, it was phenomenal ending at the ending. But it does have me feeling a little bit down because not only was it sad ending, but the show is all over. Um, anyways, if you haven't seen Hannibal, you should, especially if you're a horror fan, because it is gory as, as all crap, and it is unbelievably well done. Um, one of the best acted and most smartest shows I've ever seen, and it's groundbreaking, and it's awesome. But boy, was that ending really, really... That last fight scene between Will, Red Dragon, and Hannibal was just something shocking to be seen. As most of the show was, I guess. But, so, overall, favorite season was number two because it was the most original and most smart. Um, favorite, first season was the second favorite. Third was the weakest, but the ending was astonishingly well done. Um... And overall, it's a fantastic series. So I just had to give my comments on what I thought the ending was actually trying to say. And I just had to give my comments on the show. And I wish more shows were like that. And I know we're going to get more shows like that because Campbell showed off that you could do horror this good and this brutally and never have to apologize for it. Um, which is awesome. So thank you, showmakers, for doing such a great job. You guys are awesome.